Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Tales of Arise. So I just cleared this area. I'm just looking. Yeah, it could be. We've got oh, we've got another fight with these guys. Nice. I'm gonna do the rest of this area on camera. Yeah, these guys are nowhere near as bad as what they were. Which I think kind of makes them lose a little something. But it was a boss fight, and now it's just a normal encounter. But, oh yeah, shouldn't complain, because I would struggle if I was constantly having to fight them like they were in their boss fight. We've been leveling up quite well um, as I was clearing that area. So if you have a look now, yeah, see 47s, all of them 47s, which is really good. Uh, oh yeah, let's step through here. Oh, this area is a little bit bigger. Nice. I'll fight this big praying mantis and then yeah we'll have a look see what's there and then I might um, clear this area as well um, off camera <coughs> quite nice drop straight away It charges with like a split second. It's really difficult to then time and um, bring it in Kasara. Right, should be any second now. Strike. Nice. To achieve such harmony takes a singular will. Right, then there's no way I can do that. Uh, let's see. 60% of CP, is that all I've got? 30%, I've got a few 30%, so let's use those first. The 60% will be good for when I'm in a battle. Uh, but hopefully we get a rest soon, but I don't really understand how that's going to work since they're on Renner. carry on I'll do a little bit more and then I, yeah I probably will then I'm guessing it's going to be a fight in each one of these uh, each one of the squares some ore transcendent pebble right yeah so I'm going to um, I'm going to clear this area and then I'll uh, I'll be right back with you see you in a sec Right, so I've got to the end of this area, and um, we have a heal. So we know that normally means a boss fight. It's a really tough area. A lot, a lot of big, big monsters that take ages to kill. But I thought all of them made it through. So I've been leveling up quite nicely. 
think this place was for? <laughs> what? What have they got in there? What the hell? Are they asleep? No. They appear to be well preserved. However, they are all dead. Dead? So this is a mass grave? Looks that way. However, none of them appear to be Helganquil. Bear in mind that Renans were originally Danans, who were remade and sent to live on Lenigus. Knowing that, they would have needed a place to perform the procedure somewhere. And that place is here, I assume. So what you're saying is that all of these are Danon, or rather, Renan bodies? Most likely, yes. It must have been abandoned for one reason or another. There are so many of them. They were all taken away, but never given the chance to wake. Wow. Uh, yeah, not really sure I'd take that. Uh, let's have a look back here, just down these side bits, just to see if there's anything here. Nope. And... Nope, okay. What do we have here? Oh, why has got so many faces? What is that thing? Something we have to fight if we want to get across, it seems. <sighs> it's huge. Definitely is that. What is right. So, we don't have any other cause. Got a lot of HP, but it is going down. Oh. Nearly a quarter down already. That's good. Really, really good. Ouch. Where's his head? Don't feel like I've been able to do much damage to his head once it's fallen. Well, they're looking at it. We're nearly not too far off halfway. So we're obviously doing all right. Halfway. 
Oh, he's totally down again. Oh, no. Only for a split second then. Head spinning. I just noticed that. Well, the face is rather, it's not his head, is it? Damn. That stamping is no joke. I'm not touching the floor, it's great. I'm not doing much damage with each attack, but it's a lot of attacks. Oh, your face has started to slow down a little bit. I wonder if that means anything. We're under a quarter. We've got 24,000 left. All of us do our moves. Oh, we got this. We got this. Twelve thousand. Ten thousand. And when you get low, it seems to go down really quickly. Six thousand. Awesome. That just used up all of our CP then. The hell was that thing? Probably something that was made here and somehow managed to survive, even after all this time. Not that there's any way of knowing now. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, I just suddenly found myself contemplating what might have happened to the sovereigns that were meant to emerge from the crown contests. What do you mean? You see, the winners of the past crown contests were all strong astral arts practitioners. Furthermore, that enemy we just fought appeared to be composed of several human bodies. It was certainly nothing one would find in nature. You're saying those were the remains of the winners? Wow. That they forgot who they once were? I'm merely saying it's a possibility. That's absolutely gruesome. How long had the Helganquil been at this? It was Rena's great spirit that made them do all of this. Anything to get its astral energy. <sighs> We're not going to 
gonna jump down, right? I certainly hope not. <laughs> After hearing Dolorim suggest. Yes, Jim. I'm honestly not sure what to say. I assure you all. Ren is biology. So, looks like the Helganquil have been engineering Zoogles too. Why doesn't that surprise me at this point? The creatures we've been encountering here have been a little different to what we're used to fighting. But I'm pretty sure they're Zoogles too. Do you think they were engineered using creatures native to the area? Indeed. However, based on the current circumstances, I would guess these Zoogles are all that's left of the planet's fauna now. You mean... There might have been native owl species here once upon a time too? Potentially. Right. Let's carry on. Hopefully there's a heal soon. Or I'll have to use some uh, items. Which obviously ain't the end of the world, but... I'm trying to save them as much as possible because something tells me we're going to have some really tough fights coming up. Oh, there's actually a chest down one of them. Pineapple gel, nice. Right, nothing else in here other than the teleporter. This looks very familiar. It's the same layout. Are we going to get a heal though? Because I reckon there's going to be a fight in that. There's no, nothing down there. And I can't see anything there. I'm going to use some items now. Uh, but not all of them. Just to... Uh, like 30%. I'll use two of them. Back in that other room? Did the teleporter fail or something? Something feels off about it. Look! Everything's upside down! The furnishings are at least. No, you're right. The whole room flipped on its head. So what oh wow, I didn't even notice that. And vice versa. Okay, so that's the go. The teleporter reversed our orientation then. Hmm. Teleport to the entrance. Okay, cool. So that's how we can get out, but we need to go further down here. Oh, that was nicely tucked away there. No, nothing down that one. Let's go through here. I guess this is the flip side of that pathway we were walking on just a little while ago. This is a really tough dungeon. Yeah, there you go. It's huge. This is crazy. Who knew such amazing technology existed? Everything stops you, Turby, and that's all you can think about? Bear in mind, the core of Rena now sits above us. I pray that we won't encounter many stairs along the way. Alright. This one will be difficult to predict. Get behind it because my help is a very low until they heal me. Oh, nice. Right, the core. Didn't even realize it. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm taking it down pretty quickly though, to be fair. I'll crush you! 
Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! First strike! Take it! Take it! I really owe you one. You picked the wrong fight! This one's mine! Crumble! Tempest! Talent! Blow away! There we go. So is it, we're gonna have another really, really tough dungeon. Quite necessary when creating Where pretty much weapon. most enemies are like that. And then you miss that. Platinum chunk. What Why are is there those? thorns everywhere? They look like Shion's thorns. And with flowers too. Not real ones though. They're just like that flower growing out of Rena. We must be getting close to the great spirit now. Hey, Rinwell, what was that thing you said about how a little bit of Dana's great spirit is inside all of us? Right. That's why Dana's great spirit is so much more diluted, weak even. Whether it was a choice so it didn't overpower others, or just the way it is, is anyone's guess. If that's true, then wouldn't it mean Dana's will could never form under natural conditions? Yeah, sounds like that's probably the case. So if Dana exists within all of us, then what if something occurred that brought everyone's hearts and minds together as one? That unity could potentially act as Dana's will. You mean if everybody was, like, thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time? Come on, there's no way we could pull that off. I know it's a long shot, but it might work. Let's assume that's even possible for a second. Would it even be enough to fight back against Rena's great spirit? If nothing else, it might be an option if we can't use the Rena Salma. Things are different here than on the surface. That shows how deeply we've ventured into Rena. And how close we've come to the real enemy. What? Well, let's watch this. So here's a question. We came all this way to Rena on the assumption the Rena's almost here, right? Don't. Just don't say it, Law. Yeah, but I'm just saying... I said don't. <laughs> <sighs> I can understand why you might be concerned, Law. But you need to remember that there are people it affects more directly than you. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've managed to make it this far believing. Losing faith now won't do us any good. We're better off focusing our anxiety elsewhere. Such as? The Great Spirit. If Hevrecht 35's to be believed, our enemy won't just be handing over the Renus Alma to us. At least, not without a fight. Not only that, but that same enemy just gulped down more than an entire world's worth of astral energy. Hmm, point taken. It may be strange to say, but when I'm fighting, or at least know what needs to be done, it helps me a lot. I don't doubt myself as much. So thanks, both of you. With age comes wisdom. <sighs> the floor's on the ceiling and the ceiling's on the floor. This whole thing's making my head spin. Why would they even do something like this? The Helganquil can bend life forms to suit their will. Nothing they could do at this point would surprise me. The ceiling is on the floor. That doesn't <laughs> weird you out? What good is a team made up of members who all share the same opinions on everything? And besides, when you get to be at my ripe old age, one begins to consider it quite uncouth to show one's true emotions at times. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You can't be that old. The sands of time wait for none of us, lad. Yeah, we'll see. Now, at this rate, I guess I'll have to live long enough to get as old as you first, huh? You will. And when the time comes, I look forward to hearing you change your tune on the matter. <laughs> Right, let's carry on a bit. Oh, These ones should be pretty easy. Well, level 52, Astral Sloth. Wow. 
Keep moving. I'm ready. Get toasty. Burn strike. Right. Next one. Already on. Annihilation. Gravitas. Burn it. Ready and quick. Inferno punch. I can carve through armor. Look right in the red. I'm on it. I'm ready. In an instant. Impact block. Not here. Well together, like Take a finely it. timed wall. Awesome. Um, need to be stronger. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm actually going to end this video here. There's only a few minutes left, but when I come back, I'm going to have completed this dungeon, or if something else happens, as always. So, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> thank you very much, and take care.